What is up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over the uh, Tech Speed 178 long tube headers, MBRP axle back, uh, just kind of how it sounds, um, how the install process went, uh, um, if it drones, how I like it, and just uh, just kind of an overall review on, on the setup. Um, so I guess let's get started. I guess let's just get a cold start here. Stick on the back, and I will uh, go drive it around. Um, let you guys hear it. So, Tech Speed 178 long tubes have been on there for probably a month. Um, so the color changes about that light. It's like almost a copper kind of color. Looks really good under the car. Super duper easy to install. I mean, it took us two hours with the lift and everything. I mean, it was easy peasy. Um, cooling reservoir has come out of the way. Um, intake tube has come out. If you have an aftermarket intake, just take it all off the, from the throttle body. It's really dirty under there. Um, uh, the cover that was on here, I took all that off. So that was would have been in the way. Um, the steering shaft, mine, I don't know why, but I feel like they're reversed on here. Uh, all the videos I've seen, the bolt, the bolt head is is at the top. I had to get to it from the bottom. Um, no big deal. Underneath the car there's a lot of stuff you got to take off. There's like a little skid plate and then a little support. A um, little bar that goes across like a whole plate on the bottom. You just got to take all that off so the headers will come out. Um, and uh, yeah it was pretty easy. Um, like I said it took us two hours. Uh, I did put the MSD plug wires on there just I uh, heard that the OEM ones uh, they get kind of brittle once you pull on them and take them off because they were kind of fun to get off I did a uh, drop to a cooler plug uh, I think the IX7's um, NGK's because um, I am running uh, again E85 that's uh, all the car has E85 and um, headers on it runs really good um, I'll probably be posting a little montage of all my races with it so far. Um, I do have a lot. And uh, the car at the track and such. So anyway, I'm going to go put you on the back. Uh, you'll notice at first it kind of pops and gurgles a lot whenever it's, the pipes are cold and stuff. Once it heats up, it doesn't do it as much. It still does a little bit, but it does sound really good. So I'm going to get you on the back and let's go drive it around.
so here we are in the car. I'll give you a uh, mentor. Um, just letting the car shift itself. Uh, give you a kind of a sound bite of what it sounds like in the car. So that is it. Car sounds really good. No drone. Um, it, uh, like I said, it's all in the tune. Um, if you uh, need a tune on your sixth gen, definitely hit up GeForce Motorsports. Um, I'll, uh, I'll tag their uh, Instagram page in the video. Um, I'm gonna try to make some more videos. Like I said, most of them will be a lot about racing and things like that. Um, just kind of, kind of get into more of that and. Uh, if you're new here go ahead and subscribe um, if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and do that as well i post a lot of the uh races i do and stuff in mexico of course on uh, instagram so um yeah i guess uh go check out my other videos on the channel i got a lot of stuff out there um and i will see you guys in the next video